Yo, what's up? We're trapped on the rice, and you're watching Punk World Views. What the fuck it is? I know that's right. I'm Justice of Trapped on the Rice. I'm Brendan. I play drums in Trapped on the Rice. I'm Sam. I play guitar in Trapped on the Rice. <laughs> Uh, do you consider your new album, Big Kiss Goodnight, to be an angry album, or uh, am I just misinterpreting the songs? I feel like it's mostly angry. It's angry. Hardcore music's angry, you know? I feel like there's not really a whole lot of point in singing anything in hardcore music that's not angry on some level, you know? i say it's more maybe motivational and uh, less, like, hopeless than lyrically, you know, than uh, other music we've written, but at the same time, it's definitely angry. That's what hardcore music's about. Yeah. I concur. I agree. The music's obviously pretty aggressive, too. Right. It's hard to you know. I think it's always going to sound kind of angry no matter what you're doing. Before Trapped Under Ice, or was this kind of your first real band? Yeah, we played in a lot of bands. Me and Sam played in a lot of bands together. We played in like a straight edge hardcore punk band. We played in a metal band together. Um, and then I played in a band called One Step Too Many, and that's like a band that I was in since I was like really young. I was in my first band when I was like 11, and that's how I that's how I like met these guys because I would like. Start playing shows, I went down to shows and stuff like that. So. And we were fans of his yeah. band. And I got my fucking nose broken in One Step Too Many Pit. Oh, it was meant yeah. to be. Yeah, I've been in many <laughs> One Step Too Many Pit. Yeah, see? And that band is no more? Nah, I mean. Never broke right. up, right? Never broke up, so you so, never know. 20 oh. years down the road, it could be pretty <laughs> young. Awesome. Uh, Alright, well, is this your first headlining tour? Uh, for like a full US tour, yeah. We've done, we've awesome. done the West Coast before, we've done the East Coast before. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff in between that, so. And now you're hitting it all. Yeah. Even great. Camarillo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justice, you had some online beef about violence with fans. Yeah. Uh, what is your story or your side of that? The thing is with the internet is the internet gives everybody who has nothing to do with the situation an opinion. And uh, really, nobody knows what happened except the people that were there and saw it firsthand. And uh, to say like you saw a video on the internet and you saw this, and you saw you didn't see shit on the internet because I've seen the video a million times. And you don't see shit. You know what I mean? Uh, the situation that happened is unfortunate. You know, there was a fight. People got hurt, and uh, I don't glorify that. We're not like that. We're not. We're not violent people. I think anybody who knows us knows it. That's not like us to do some shit like that. But uh, the situation sucks, and I did everything I could to make it right. And uh, as far as the internet's take on it. I really care what the internet thinks about it. It's, it's just annoying. It's just like some right. annoying. I actually have a question from CM Punk. He wanted me to ask you guys why Baltimore sucks. It doesn't. What are you talking about? Why do you say <laughs> that? Fuck you, see how long? Nah. Um, I assumed it was some inside joke. I mean, there. I mean, there. Yeah, there's things that suck about Baltimore. So <laughs> this way, if I like wasn't from Baltimore and I was like from California and I came to Baltimore, I'd be like this shit sucks. <laughs> but like, if you, it's one of those things where you have to like live there for a long time. Like, I I moved there when I was 18. And I lived there for like four years and I was like, this shit sucks. <laughs> and then like after like six or seven or eight years, I was like, alright, this is cool. Like, I like this. Like, but only because I lived there. Wait, from, where did you move from? Like, D.C. area. Okay. So, I, it grows on you. Yeah, I'd like to say, I, I appreciate that question. It's very straightforward and it's cool and a lot of people like balls say that. But then again, that guy's big as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he probably said every one, so. But, uh... I don't, the things that people see that suck about Baltimore are probably the things that I love most about it. People are like, 
oh, it's this, it's that, it's that. Fucking, I mean, those are like the things that like I associate with home, and that's what my, makes me comfortable. I'm not saying that I, I'm like, I'm like, I like to be around people selling drugs and prostitution and murder and shit like that. Totally. That's not all there is. To Baltimore. There's a lot of things. You know, there's a lot of a lot of sides to it, and I, I love Baltimore's home. Yeah. Uh, there may or may not be a tattoo on your butt that you need to show me. No? I, I, just want to you. I, got, I got a lot I can show you, but I don't, I don't you know, not, you just want to see my, my butt, you know? Might be banned for There's a YouTube. lot of weird things going back there. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Not but is there some truth not to that? Oh, yeah, there's, lots, there's a lot of crazy things going on back there. Okay. Later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, the new album has been out for about a month. Um, when are you going to start writing again? No rush, you know? Yeah. Race <laughs> John, yeah. Yeah. I feel like even like before the, the last record, Seems of the World, came out, we were already like writing for this record. So it was like, yeah. we've been like, oh, writing yeah. for so long, so it kind of feels good to finally just get something like a finished product out. Okay. I mean, there's, there's always stuff in the workshop, you know, there's always like, there's always yeah. riffs that we have yeah. to use and stuff like that, right. but like as far as like, Sitting down and just like working real hard at writing, we're kind of chilling for now, just like yeah. that. And that's what we're seeing on touring. Yeah, that's the stuff we used on Big Kiss Goodnight was stuff that we wrote like three or four years ago, like just it just like resurfaced, you know. So I mean, that could always happen too. We have songs written that we didn't use for the record that you know we're gonna take and at some point in time we try to perfect them and make them better. But uh, I think you know. Bands, bands are always like rushing to make putting the music out, and there, there's no hurry. People, yeah. people say they want new shit, but they don't want new shit like that. You know? I think right. lots of bands do it to like support like tour cycles, but we're not really like trying to do that. Like we're not trying to force ourselves to release something just to like keep touring. Right. Well, month is it too long? I think you have. No, I think you can uh, <laughs> feed off this record a little more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Six months down the road, expect some. Some new shit. Yeah, we'll have yeah. a new yeah. full length announcement on the sure. street. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a favorite track on the album? I do. My favorite track okay. is Time Waits. Number and six. why is that? It's my favorite. It's just like the one, you know, I mean, there's always the song that you just connect to the most and it's the grooviest and it's real fun to play. I love it. What do you sing? <sighs> Mine's probably Outcast. Just because our writing tendency is to make things like super, like not like complicated, but like have a lot of transitions and like lots of different parts, but we like forced ourselves to be like more just like bare bones with that song. Okay. So I like how that one came out. And uh, it's like like sounds like some typical like dumb bullshit answer, but it's, it's it's so honest. It's like I can't pick a favorite song. Like every time I do, like a couple minutes later, I'm like, nah, it's not my favorite. This is my favorite song. And every time I listen to a record, there's a new song that I like more, and I'm like, hey guys, can we play this live? And, mm -hmm. and then a couple days later, it changes again. So I, I think, like, I'm really happy with, like, how, uh, I don't know, each song has, like, so much, uh, like, of its own of its own thing. You know, each song stands out by itself and has its own identity and stands out from the rest of the track. So I feel like any song could be somebody's favorite song on the record. <laughs> Take Offense and Backtrack, yeah. which are Reaper Records family with us, and they're both incredible bands. Backtrack's got a new record. Take Offense has a new record, they'll be coming out soon. That shit's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's definitely some of my favorite hardcore songs I've heard and writing in a long time. Yo, what's 
What's up? We're trapped in the rice and you're watching Punk World Views. You know what the fuck it is, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. BITCH! <laughs>